First Chronicles 24. Now these are the divisions of the sons of Aaron. Still talking about the, the Levites, the priests. What well, David is ordering the priests and the Levites before his death, before the temple was built. The sons of Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father. Remember, they offered the strange incense, strange fire, and had no children. Therefore, Eleazar and Ithamar executed the priest's office. Now remember, the priests are the ones of Aaron, and only Aaron. And David disputed, disputed them, both Zadok, the sons of Eleazar, and Ahimelech, the sons of Ithamar, according to their offices in their service. And there were more chief men found of the sons of Eleazar than of the sons of Ithamar. And thus were they divided. They divided amongst their children. Among the sons of Eleazar, there were 16 chief men of the house of their fathers. And eight among the sons of Ithamar, according to the house of their fathers. So Eleazar is almost doubled of Ithamar. And thus were they divided by Lot. Lot is draw store, uh, straws, shoot a dice, odd even, the high card, pick a number. Today you would call it gambling. And it's not a gamble. It's Lord God, who goes where? Who goes what? If I pick red and, you know, instead of black, the black ball, that's the divided Lot. And it's done by the disciples after Jesus went off to be the right hand of the Father. They're choosing the apostles and say, Lord, we got these two men. And they said they cast lots. And there's probably many ways to choose. And, and it's not gambling. A farmer casts lots and, and gambles. Man, he's got to pray to God and say, God, I have no idea what this year is going to be. Am I going to plant beans? Am I going to plant corn? Am I going to paint? That's, that's, a, that's a lot. That's what crop do I plant? And man, he lays his whole family, his whole line on the line not going to a casino and putting your money in a in a slot machine and pulling the hand that's stupid that's stupid so divided by lot one sort with another for the governors of the sanctuary and the governors of the house of god were of the sons of eliezer and the sons of ismar so that in charge of sanctuary the holy of holies the holy place and the courtyard the priests are in charge and Shimei, the son of Nethaniel, the scribe, that's the guy in charge of the writing, in charge of the scrolls. When the scroll needs to be rewritten, that's his job. One of the Levites wrote then before the king and the princes, and Zadok the priest, and Ahimelech the son of Biathar, and before the chief of the fathers of the priests and Levites. One principal household being taken for Eleazar, and one of them for Ithamar. One of the Levites wrote them before the king. I wonder if that's the people being written or is that actually with the law being written? Probably the people. Now the first lot came forth to Jehoribim, the second to Jedidiah, the third to Harum, the fourth to Sirom, the fifth to Mount Chijiah, the Jah, Jehovah, the sixth to Majim, the seventh to Hecox, and that meaning that word means thorn. <laughs> That's just interesting. The eighth to Abijah. Let's go to Luke chapter 1, verse 5. Now we're going to run into the Gospels. The eighth. Eight in the Bible is a new beginning. So the eighth lot comes Abijah, and Luke chapter 1, verse 5. And there was in the days of Herod, the king of Judah, a certain priest named Zacharias. This would be the father of John the Baptist. And his course of Abiah, that's what we just read. Different name, Hebrew and Greek. And his wife was the daughters of Aaron. That's what we just read. And her name was Elizabeth. So Zechariah is of the priest. He's of the course set by David that we just read. Before the temple's built. And verse 8 of Luke 1. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office, 
So he's of the he's of Aaron. Before God in the order of his course. That's what we're reading right now. Now, in Chronicles, it's called orders. O R D E O R D E R S. In the New Testament, it's called a course. A course is the order. According to the custom of the priest's office, we're going to see that in a moment. His lot, his lot, was to burn the incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. So he's no ordinary Levite. He's the priest. John the Baptist is of the priest of Aaron. And he is Abiah, the number eighth lot of David. Eight, again, being new. new. Eight means new. Uh, now, something else is interesting here. By Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1, verse 36. Now, Luke 1, 5 says... His wife was the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Luke 1, verse 36. Talking to Mary of Judah, of David. Just Nathan, not Solomon. Joseph is of Solomon and David. Look what it says. And behold thy cousin, Elizabeth, she has conceived... Elizabeth, who we're reading about in Luke chapter 1 of Aaron, is cousins to Mary. Mary, who that's in, in Judah, who bears the Lord Jesus Christ by the virgin birth. There is Aaron's seed, family roots in Mary. Isn't that kind of interesting? And we run all the way back to 1 Chronicles 24 to King David. And we read these names, boring names, orders, bump, bump, bump. And we come to verse 10, the seventh Jesus, which means thorn, and the eighth to Abijah, same thing as Abijah. There is many, many, many years ago, Zacharias, there he is. The eighth lot came to Zacharias. The ninth to Jeshua, which would mean also Joshua. The tenth to Shechaniah, the eleventh to Elishahim, the twelfth to Jacob, the thirteenth to Huffah, the fourteenth to Jehobim, the fifteenth to Bilgal, the the sixteenth to Immer, the seventeenth to Hezer, the eighteenth to Ahaz, the nineteenth to Pethaliah, the twentieth to Jehokil. The one and twentieth to Jekyll, the two and twentieth to Gavin. Notice how they count. It's not our counting. There's no twenty-two. It's two and twenty-two. Three and twentieth to Delilah, the four and twentieth to Maza. These were the orderings. That's the only time that word shows up. Orderings. Chronicles they're called orders. But when you come to Luke. The orders of their, of them in the service to come into the house of the Lord. So when you see Zacchaeus coming, his lot was of Abiah, and his lot was his course that David prescribed of this man was to go in there and burn the incense at the given time. According to their manner, under Aaron their father, as the Lord God of Israel has commanded him. Now, Aaron's dead. Aaron is not living. So David says, Aaron. Aaron has been set up as that is the man to follow as far as the priesthood. Not Moses. Moses was not the priest. Uh, he had the priestly functions, but he was not the priest. He was a Levite, but he wasn't a priest. The sons of Aaron. Their father as the Lord God of Israel had commanded him. So God spoke to Aaron also, not just Moses. And the rest of the sons of Levi. 
were these of the sons of Amram. That's Moses, Miriam, and Aram's dad. Shebiel, the sons of Shebiel, Jediah. Concerning Remediah, the sons of Remediah, the first was Ishla. And this would be the Kohites. Aaron, Moses, and Miriam are of the Kohites. These are the ones that had carrying everything. And of the Israelites, Shalomoth, Moth, and the sons of Shalomoth, Jehab. And you say, who cares? Ah, oh, not going to read Chronicles, it's so boring. You know what these names? Now, Paul tells Timothy, you're not to, you know, dabble with fables. You're not to dabble with genealogy, endless genealogy. So what's this genealogy we're reading here? What, what's so boring? Why are we doing it? When Jesus Christ has that temple in the millennium, and those officers are priests, the Holy Scripture is going to reveal to them that they are the blood. They are the families of the priests that we're reading right now. And there'll be Levites running around who are not priests. They're going to do the function. Their names are going to be here too, but they're not going to be the children of Aaron. And you find that story in Ezra, and you find that story in Nehemiah. They check their names, and Ezra and Nehemiah says, there was this one family that came up and said, we can't find their records in the genealogy. So they were polluted from the priesthood. So in the millennium, if you find Jehoshaphat, I'm just giving a Jewish name, he said, Jehoshaphat, says, do you belong to doing what you're doing? The Holy Scriptures will be opened up and you'll be able to trace that name just like Jesus Christ's name is, is traced in Gospel of Luke. Right now, they don't know who they are. They don't believe the Gospels. They cannot trace, even though it is recorded Jewish people, the, the genealogy of the Messiah given in Luke, all the way back to the son of Adam, which is the son of God. They don't believe that. So their chronology is all messed up. They don't know who they are. They're not sure who they are. Jesus Christ with the word of God that heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall never pass away. With the Bible, Jesus will appoint those who they are. And it's evident in the tribulation that except for Dan and Manasseh, the 144,000, they are given of the tribes and 144,000 of each of the 12 tribes with Levi and Joseph listed. So they're going to have their identity come back and how are they going to have their identity? <coughs> By the word of God. This boring list of names worth living. As born again Bible believing Christians that are saved in the blood of Jesus Christ, we will see Jesus appoint as David's appoint in the office. What David's doing right now, this boring thing that we're reading with David and the Levite, Jesus Christ is going to stay and say, your family right there, this is your job. Your family right there, that is your job. Your family there, that's your job. Exactly what David's doing. David's the type of Jesus Christ. David is doing what Jesus is going to do in the millennium. There's your job. There's your family. There's your job. It's good. It is so orderly among God. God is a God of order. God is a God of orderly fashion. And you're going to watch in the millennium that office of the priesthood and that temple third. It's going to be so routine. It's going to be like they've done it a million thousand times. It's in the scripture right now. Paul says they have a veil upon their eyes when they read the scriptures. Especially the law. I can't see it. But when they recognize that Messiah... Imagine a saved Jewish person going through the scriptures now. He can relate more than what I can. I, I have no idea Jewish anything. I'm not Jewish. I didn't grow up Jewish. So there are 24 courses. And the sons of Hebron, verse 23, Jeriah the first, Mamara um, the second, Jezheel the third, Jechemiah the fourth. Very good. You better get recognizing these names. I guarantee to be there in the millennium. We'll probably have a better tongue to pronounce them. The sons of Uziel, Micah, the sons of Micah, Shemar. The brother of Micah was Isha, the sons of Ishaya, Zechariah. The sons of Merari, that's the third group under Aaron, Aaron's uh, uh, Levi's sons. 
Levi had Marara, he had Kohath, and I can't think of the name. I get the name. The sons of Marai were Mahael and Mushai, the sons of Je Jehazah and Bino. The sons of Marai by Jazhel, Bino, Shoham, Zachar, and Ibrai. Of Mahai came Eliezer, and who had no sons. Uh oh. So his name dies out. We read about that the other night. The sons of Mushai, Malhai, Eder, and Jeremiah. These were the sons of the Levites after the house of their father. These likewise cast lots over their brethren, the sons of Aaron, in the presence of David. David's a type of Christ. David foretells what Christ is going to do. They're going to cast the lots before Jesus Christ, and Jesus is going to say, that's your job. That's your job. Remember, work became before the fall. God gave Adam a job and said, here's your job, take care of the garden. The curse is removed off the earth. You still got work to do in the Millennium Temple. You, they're going to bring their animals. You got to get the water. You got to burn the fire. You got to go do the candle. It just, work is not a curse. People think work is a curse. And then likewise cast lots over against their brethren, the sons of Aaron, in the presence of David the king. And Zadok and Zadok has said that because he's faithful, he's going to have his seed go all the way into the millennium. And Himelech, and the chief of the fathers, and the priests, and Levites, even the principal fathers, that means the, the, the elect of the elect, over against their younger brethren. And we'll pick up more and more about these Levites until David dies. 